Good morning, folks. We're well, off and running. A bit of a stuttering so I was off early as well, so it's only half eight. <clears throat> I slept okay last night, but a little bit nervous about what's coming up. And um, I can just look down the end of this road and seeing the bloody Girt Mountains covered in snow on the top still. Um, I'm not surprised really. Anyway, it is chilly this morning. Cars had frost on them when I started, so my legs are a bit nippy, but I'm okay. So, I'm going to take advice as I get closer to the really high bits. Um, and as I get out of jail free, I've just noted where the, uh, the last couple of railway stations are before you get into the high passes. Because looking at the amount of snow up there, I'm going to get stuffed. But anyway, we're going to give it a go. Going to be fine at the lower levels. I was doing a bit of research last night and they said mid-march up to about 1100 metres, you should be alright. They said you might find some of the high passes are closed. So I am taking zero risks. I do want to be in that warm little apartment with Margaret and Kimberly and Curtis in a couple of weeks really but all good we are approaching this with a positive mental attitude I think so hope you're all well and uh, I think it's relatively easy going for a little while um, now I've got my first switchback coming up so not not too much it's only about five or six hundred meter climb I think vertical climb I think it's about four or five kilometers up in cycling a bit longer than that probably anyway I'm gonna stop wittering we're all good the daunting mountains are in front of me and we'll see how we get on love y'all